guys, today I'm back with a really exciting video and I'm actually going to be doing my MAC lipstick collection video and I'm also going to be like swatching them on my lips and everything so you guys can see what they look like on. A lot of you guys have been requesting this since my What I Got For Christmas video when I got quite a few then. I have 21 in total so I'm going to attempt to do them as much as I can from lightest to darkest shades. This is actually my first video of 2016 which is quite bad because we're already a month in but I've actually just been working really hard to provide you guys with just top quality content the whole year. I really really want to just kickstart of my channel where I'm really happy with everything that I put up so hopefully this is a really exciting start of some really good quality content so let's just get started so I actually have them all behind me so I'm gonna have to move this little display so I can show you them all so now my background doesn't actually look as good but whatever you get the idea first up is a frost and it's in the shade Tanorama I did show this in my work up Christmas video and it's one of my all-time favorite colors because of its frost finish it's just like a light sheen over your lips but it is a pure whitey silvery frost and it's so different it's really cool and I really love this it's really different um, and it looks really cool on next up is a satin finish and this is in the shade myth I don't tend to go for nude colors just because I am so conscious of the color of my teeth um, nudes especially I find they look better on my skin tone but they do make my teeth look quite yellow as they would the majority of people but this is a really nice color I did figure at some point I needed a nude color in my collection satin is one of my favorite finishes it's so pigmented and they're really soft so they're not quite drying on your lips like mattes are but this is a really nice in between nude it's not too concealer lippy but it's not too like brownie and I really like it as like a nude color next up I have the first ever MAC lipstick that I got I was given this um, a few years ago now for my birthday it must have been for like my 14th or 15th birthday so I've had it a long time it's it's a frost finish and it's in the shade Angel. Now I would recommend this to anyone who's buying your first MAC lipstick and you don't know what shade to go for, I always recommend this one because it's a really nice neutral colour, it's slightly darker than like a natural lip colour but it's not too out there for your first lipstick and because it's a frost colour it's not too pow, I'm wearing a bright colour on my lips so this is really nice. It's a cool toned pink and I really like it, I have used a lot of it as you can tell. Yeah it's just a really nice neutral colour that's great for everyday wear. Next I have a cream sheen colour and this is again kind of a very everyday colour and because it's a cream sheen it's a a lot more glossy and shiny which makes it look a lot more natural so this one's in the shade peach blossom it's a very pinky peachy toned color for me it's a very summery color because it pretty much just gives the illusion of like a light layer of pink gloss on your lips and it's a really nice pink next I have another cream sheen finished one and this is kind of similar to peach blossom it's pretty much the same idea but it's, it's more sort of brown nude it's in the color Shanghai spice so it's very orangey browny toned and it's really nice I really like this one at the moment again it just gives the illusion of a gloss on your lips so it's a nice bit of color but it's not too out there. It just sort of looks like you put a nice layer of gloss over your lips. So that's a really nice browny nudey colour. Next I have a matte in the shade Velvet Teddy which of course is well known and I did sort of go through a phase of liking it last year as you would have seen in my 2015 favourites video. Since venturing out a lot more with lipstick colours it's not one of my favourites but if you are looking for a brown toned nude obviously this is very well known and a lot of people will definitely recommend it. So like I said it's just a brown toned nude colour and the bonus about mattes is that they do stay on all day. They can look a bit drying um, so I recommend putting a lip balm on maybe a lip liner as well but I do like to wear this every now and then. The next lipstick I have is a retro matte finish and it's in the colour Runway Kit. This is a very different colour to what I'm used to, it's very pink and I don't tend to go for pink but it's a really nice one to venture out if you're looking for something to just discover a new sort of shade. Because it's a matte it's very pigmented and it stays on really well and like I said it's very very pinky, almost corally um, and because it's a matte obviously it's super pigmented so it goes on like a solid colour on your lips. Next up is another matte and it's in the shade Tropic Tonic. I love this colour, it's again brighter than I'm used to but I'm really excited to again venture out in the warmer weather in this sort of colour. It's just pretty much an orangey toned colour, it's so 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 lovely and again it's super pigmented, I love this. I wore this um, recently to college and I just felt so sassy with it on but it's a nice, I don't know why this is so different because I tend to wear quite crazy colours but for some reason wearing this it doesn't feel as crazy as some of the other colours I wear but I really like this. I also forgot to mention this amplified lipstick in Vegas Vault. It is very very similar to Tropic Tonic but it's more of a glossy formula and um, yeah I just thought I'd mention that because I did forget. Speaking of oranges, I have an amplified lipstick in the shade Orange. Now this is pure orange, it's so nice and I really think it complements blonde. I actually wanted this colour since watching uh, Shine XO's video when she showed it in her MAC lipstick collection video and it suited her hair colour so well and I just really wanted to try it. And when you compare this to Vegas Vault and Tropic Tonic it makes them look so muted because this is neon 
and I am so excited to wear this. I haven't had much wear of it yet, but it's just like a pure orange colour and it's so nice. I have another frost finish and this is in the same sort of category as Tanorama. It's virtually the same idea, but this is like a bronzy colour. It's like a goldy version. Again, it just gives like a light layer of frost over your lips, but this one's definitely more goldy, bronze looking on the lips. And this one's so sassy as well. It looks like you're wearing gold lipstick. Next up, I have a satin finish in the shade Captive. I've really been loving this recently. It's one of those ones that in the shop when I looked at it in the packaging almost didn't look anything too special because it just looks like quite a mundane dark berry tone colour. It doesn't look like anything exciting. But I have worn this so much, so much. Like, it's definitely a lot more worn down than some of my other ones. I definitely think this is something you can get away with not just in the winter weather because, like I said, it's not so dark to the point where it's like a winter colour. It's quite versatile. It's kind of like a berry tone pink. I don't know what it is that's so special about this, but it sort of tricks you. To me, I just didn't look anything special, but I really like this. I just think it's really nice, comfortable colour if you wanted to go sort of out there but you don't want to go too crazy, so this is like sort of my go-to college colour. Next up is the Amplified Lipstick in Brick Olar. I raved about this in my What I Forgot for Christmas video. It's a super nice, sort of brown-toned ready colour. It's like the name would suggest, a brick sort of colour. And I recently bought Brick Lip Liner, which goes perfectly underneath this. It's a really nice colour. So again, if you like sort of like the darkish toned colours, but you don't want to go too dark that it looks like really out there then that's a really nice alternative. So hitting the sort of darker end of the spectrum now I have a matte in Diva and I think I also mentioned this in a video at some point recently. I've had this for a few years now as well and it's rather worn down I'm sort of trying to avoid using it so I can make it last as long as I can. It is a pure deep red colour. It's a really really nice colour it's just like your typical dark red for winter um, and even though it's a matte it doesn't dry your lips out too much. So next is another matte, and this is Matte Royal, of course, the navy blue colour that I raved about. I love this, this is such a crazy colour. It was out of stock for a while, I had quite difficulty getting this, but then my friend actually found it and got it for me for Christmas. It's such an exciting colour, I love it. I've seen so many of the workers in MAC wearing this. I've seen it styled so many different ways. If it's one of those colours that you're really, really attracted to, but you're not sure how to wear it, there are so many ways of wearing it. If you look online, blue lipstick is super in at the moment, so it's just a really cool colour, and Despite it being such an odd colour, it doesn't look too mad when you wear it, so that's really cool. I love that one. The remaining lipsticks aren't necessarily in lightest to darkest order, I'm just sort of showing them in order wherever I can. This one is one that I got recently because I had some vouchers from Christmas. So this is an Amplified in Up The Amp, and again this is a colour that doesn't look too crazy in the packaging, but it's really different and it's not something you tend to see people wearing. It's kind of like a morby purple colour, it's like a purple but it's very very muted and toned down. So it's slightly more every day and it's just, again, it's quite nice looking on the lips because it's sort of not too out there but you can definitely notice it. Another voucher purchase of mine, um, I actually really struggled to get my hands on this because I think this was released in a newer collection and it was quite popular. So this is a matte in the shade Instigator, you've probably heard a lot about this. In the packaging it's super dark, it looks very very similar to Cyber and if you've seen Cyber I'll show you that in a bit. It is so dark but actually when you wear it it's not as dark as you think. It's definitely more bright purple and it's uh, described as a matte finish but I don't think it's quite as dry and matte as some of the others like Velvet Teddy. That just goes on like straight dry, matte, you can tell. But this one's got a slight sheen to it which is nice because it means it's slightly more moisturising. So next up I have another matte and I got this a few days ago. This is in the shade Stone and um, I used the remainder of my voucher spendings on this because I've wanted this for so long and every time I've gone to get it it's been out of stock because it's just been so popular so this is a gorgeous colour it's a very very dark brown it's almost muted so it's not like chocolatey brown it's almost like a grey toned brown and I was also a bit reluctant when I found it because I wasn't sure how much it would wash me out if it would look kind of dull on my skin tone or whatever but I'm really happy I did I've worn it a few times since getting it and it's such a nice colour and again it's very different but it's not too like pow I'm wearing weirdly brown lipstick. Next up I have another matte and you've heard me talk about this before this is in the shade Smoked Purple. On the lips when you compare it to Instigator it's more matte and it's it's definitely more muted, but it's also a deeper purple as well. So I don't really know how to explain it. It's slightly more brown toned purple on the lips, so it makes it look a lot more muted and deeper um, and less richer purple, but it's really nice. I think this definitely has to be my favourite purple that I own. Next up, I have a cream sheen in the colour Heavy Petting. I don't tend to come across this sort of colour in um, such a glossy formula. It's pretty much just like 
an ox blood red colour. It's such a nice colour. But um, because it's a cream sheen, it gives that gloss effect as well, which is kind of odd for me. I'm so used to wearing like deep reds that are just matte or amplified. But it's got a very, very nice moisturising texture to it, but it's not quite as pigmented as you would expect. And finally, I have a satin in Cyber. This is probably neck and neck with Smoke Purple for being my favourite purple that I own. Like I said, it's very similar to Instigator, but um, Instigator is more on the brighter purple side, whereas Cyber is more on the deep purple side. And um, it's slightly glossy because it's a satin, but it's not as glossy as like Heavy Petting is with a cream sheen finish. I recently picked up the Cyber World lip liner, which goes perfectly underneath this because I find that um, because it's a slightly glossy finish, it can run a bit more and it doesn't look as pigmented when you use it throughout the day when you're eating and drinking and things but you pair a dark purple lip liner underneath this and this is gorgeous. So that is all of my MAC lipsticks. I hope you enjoy this. I know it was quite a long winded video, but I do have quite a lot and um, I asked on Twitter and you guys wanted to see this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favorite MAC lipstick is if you own them, because I'm always intrigued to see what people love to wear. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't wear half the colors I wear, but I don't know, it's just really interesting. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon.